Welcome to the Multibase Asbestos Survey Overview. This demonstration has been created using Windows 7 and Microsoft Access 2007. If an earlier operating system or version of Access is used on your computer system, then minor visual variations may be noticed, but the database structure will remain the same. This system is designed to electronically record and control occurrences of asbestos in buildings and other structures. Comprehensive reports can be printed, and electronic versions of these reports can be distributed via email. Full historic information concerning each occurrence of asbestos can be stored within the database, along with the current material and priority assessment of risk. The new 2010 database has been completely redeveloped to comply with the new guidance as defined in the HSE publication Asbestos, the Survey Guide, HSG 264. The purpose of this video is to give a brief overview to the basic features of the HSG 264 compliant Asbestos Survey Database System from Multibase. We will start with the first screen you will come across when opening the database. As you can see, there are four different sections and each one of these will open a new section of the system. The Clients button opens a screen where you can enter all information on your customers both past and present. The Find by Company drop down menu is automatically set to show all of your present clients, but if you need to, put a tick in the X Clients box and the system will change to show all your old clients in the drop down menu. To stop mistakes happening, Multibase has ensured that if you want to change an already entered sample, you must press edit this record each time. Once you select a client, all the details you have entered about them will be shown. As you can see, on the right of the screen are the details of the surveys done for this client, with the project number, name of site, the date you started inputting data, and the number of ACMs found there. You can select a survey using the grey arrows to the left of the project numbers to see the full details entered which we will do shortly. The next grey tab at the top of the screen is where you can enter all the different contacts you have relating to this survey, and also any notes you wish to add about the person or company. The next grey tab allows you to keep a record of any communications you have made and received in regard to the survey with a date record. The Overdue All Sites report button will open up a print preview of all the ACMs for this client on all sites, and the reinspection date as entered by the surveyor into the system. All inspections that are overdue will be shown highlighted in red. The Add New Site for this Client button will allow you to open a new site screen where data can be entered, but for the purpose of this overview, we will look at an already completed demonstration survey. The client's details are all here, including the type of survey. This is now printed in bold on the cover of any full survey printed to be compliant with the new HSE guidelines. If you have selected a reinspection asbestos survey, the Reinspection Bulk Update button can be used if there are no changes to ACMs once a reinspection has been completed, and you can change all of the reinspection dates at the same time. As you can see, a warning message will appear, so please be sure to read this before you proceed. The grey tabs at the top consist of the site outline, the site description, any drawings a surveyor needs to enter to give a specific location for an ACM, then any bulk scan certificates. The next six tabs Objectives, techniques, caveats, notes, summaries and recommendations can all be entered automatically if you use the same things on a regular basis, or you can enter the data manually. If you want to use this facility, you can auto-enter using the auto-enter button for just the specific tab you're in, or the auto-enter all button, this is used to enter all the data for all six tabs. The data is entered by yourself in the setup screen section of the system, which we will visit shortly. You then have the excluded areas tab, and then the instructing party for this survey. All of these grey tabs can be printed separately or as part of the full survey print. The samples for this site button opens a screen where you can see all the separate samples entered into the database. You can enter a picture of each sample along with the material assessments where you will get a wristband of score and also the priority assessments where again you will get a risk score from the details you have entered. The drop down menus on the left allow you to select a specific area or product name if needed. And as you can see, it allows you to enter the surveyor's name, a costing for the task, and the contractor that's completing the work for you. Alternatively, if you're asked to quickly reference a particular sample, then you can enter this in the Find Sample section, and all the inputted data will be displayed. The Auto Copy button can be used if there are several of the same samples that need to be entered into the system. So going back to the site screen, and we see that there are a variety of different material assessment reports that can be printed off individually if needed, including a small photo report. The governing body seems to appreciate this, it enables them to check things faster, and also helps to reduce the carbon footprint. You can just view these reports by clicking on the respective buttons, and this will open a print preview screen. 
Again, from here you can print if needed, or PDF it. The priority assessment reports are all viewed and printed in the same way. The custom filter report button does exactly what it says on the tin and allows you to filter and then view or print the report to the data you require. Let's have an example. If you wanted to see all the samples taken from building one on the ground floor, this will allow you to quickly find out how many samples there are, their location, the product, what type of asbestos was found, the drawing references, and the material and priority wristbands and scores. In the bottom right corner of the screen, you will see a change client button. This is to ensure that you can change the site into another client section if needed. The print full survey button will open up a window with a list of all the reports available. In the top right corner is the user default setup screen. You can set the default reports which will be printed every time, or you can manually choose which you want to print. These can be printed off or sent to a PDF generating program and then saved to your computer for records and emailed to anywhere in the world. Multibase Systems Limited recommends PDF Factory. This can be acquired from us if needed. For this system to be compliant with the HSG 264 guidelines, we've added a report called the Asbestos Register, which you can see here. This report gives the location and product type of any ACMs found on site, the extent of the ACM, how easy it is to gain access to it, the condition it is in, the surface treatment and asbestos type, and whether it has been identified yet. Then the sample number, material and priority risk scores, and the accumulated risk score. Now we go back to the main screen and you'll see the filter button. This enables you to quickly reference any samples in the whole database from any clients without having to enter the full system. You can then view or print this report in the usual manner. And now to the setup screen, which is fairly self-explanatory. You can enter all the auto enter information mentioned earlier into the system by using the tabs to the right of the screen here. You can choose what data is entered into which type of survey and can enter as many as you wish. Simply start typing in the empty box and a new blank record will appear underneath if you need it. The tabs to the left of the screen are there so you can enter any new area, room, floor, action and product types that you come across. The system already has default lists installed, but each site is different and you can add as many as you like. The removal contractors details are entered in the removal contractors tab and the names of the surveyors you use can be entered into the surveyors names tab. The default picture location tab is self-explanatory and the statistics button gives you the stats for the whole database system. The tabs in the center are the main system tabs. They are used either when you first set up the system or when you need to contact Multibase to update the system. At the bottom of the screen you will see three tabs. These tabs are used to print off the data sheets that the surveyors can take with them when surveying a site to make the system easier. And finally, the Find Sample drop-down menu. This again is fairly self-explanatory and allows you to open a read-only screen of any sample in the database system. This database system can easily be adapted to your individual requirements and networked to allow several people to use the system at the same time. The full version of the database is available to download from our website, multibase.co.uk, and can be used to evaluate the system at your leisure. However, this free version is limited in the number of samples that can be entered and will expire if the demo company name is changed. Multibase can be contacted by telephone on 08452 570 001 or 01638 602 693. This will enable us to give you a remote connection demonstration if you prefer. Thank you for watching the Asbestos Survey Database Overview from Multibase.